Hey there guys, welcome back to another YouTube video and today we're going to be showing you how to build a breeder reactor. This uses your breeder uranium to set uh, to recharge your fissile fuel rods which I'll show you how it works later. Um, there'll be a banner on screen now of Oblivion Vaults. Check them out, they've got a great, great player base. I play on there quite a lot. So check them out, IP in the description just like the last video. All right. So place your fishing reactor down and then dig four two deep holes like I've shown you here and then place a block of redstone down the bottom. I'm going to speed through this, I think the video is under five minutes, or I'll try and keep it under five minutes anyway. Um, now in the corners here we're going to dig down two again and down here we're going to place ourselves our sticky piston in each one. Uh, these are going to be the basis for our control rods and they're going to stop our machine from overheating so we're going to put our control rods on top of those as well. Um, so as you can see, once you get up to this stage, you're then going to need to get yourself some thermometers. Um, you do need to get four of these. I know it's resource heavy, you could probably work it out, but this is the most compact design that I could do. And then you need to set each of these to 1900 degrees. So you need to right click on it once, like I'm doing here. And there we go, just get that last one to 1900 degrees. Okay, so now we've done that, go back to your fission reactor and shift right click to place it down on top of your thermometer like so. There we go, that's the base of our design and now we're just going to need to grab ourselves um, a stone block or something um, so that we can surround this and put some water down because evidently we do want to have um, something heating up. Uh, for this to work properly you need to get the middle reactor to a combined temperature of over 6000 degrees and in terms of this, each reactor cannot go higher than 1,900 or else it will explode when it gets to 2,000. So you do need to have four reactors going at the same time, otherwise it won't reach the right temperature. Fill the rest of this with water. It doesn't really matter if the control rod bits uh, fill up because they'll fill up again um, and recharge into, uh, into a solid block once it heats up. So there we go. Um, oh, it's just getting night time as well. So let's just put all of this in our inventory and we'll go and gra grab some fuel rods. So, um, oh, I can't actually get the, the fissile fuel rod here. So, well, you can get that one, but you need to you need to have um, some breeder fuel rods. You need four of those, I haven't actually got four. Um, let's just search it on here. So there we go, we need the empty fissile fuel rods because that's gonna show how it's charging. That big number there, 4999999, um, that's going to be, that shows you how much it's depleted. So. Once it reaches the fire, it deteriorates completely and disappears. So I'm just going to stick the breed fuel rods in here, um, and yeah, that's going to heat up. And yeah, so there we go. That's good. And I'll be back in a bit once uh, we said it's a day. And uh, yeah. So if we go here into the inventory, we can have a look at the actual temperature of it. If you shift right click a thermometer on the um, device there it goes up so you can you can track the, the temperature without having to look at the thermometers which is quite nice so this is just the handheld one but it doesn't output a redstone signal like the other blocks so you can't do without that unless you want to be controlling your control rod manually which would be uh, taking a very long time so you can see here that the temperature is reaching 1600 or so uh, combined over four that's going to be over uh, the 6000 that we need so we're going to put our fissile fuel rod into the center there we go. So now it is just a matter of time uh, before this actually recharges. And there we go. So now you can see that it's heated up. Um, and our thermometer tells us that it's at the 1900 and it's getting over, but then the control rods are cooling it back down, so it's not going to explode. Uh, if I jump over to the middle here, we can take out the fissile fuel rod, and you can see that that number. The 4999 has gone down to 47261 and you can see a little red dot at the very edge there. That shows that this thing is recharging. If we take out a breeder fuel rod, there we go, let's take out a breeder fuel rod. Right click, oh, oh. well the breeder fuel rod will have been depleted by a little bit here. So um, yeah, that's that. Yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. Um, that's the recharging of a, of a fissile fuel rod using breeder uranium. Uh, that's three breeder uranium for each one there. So yeah, do check out Oblivion Gaming again, uh, the banners earlier in the video and the IP is in the description. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed this and it was helpful. I'll see you in the next one guys. Peace.